Do you have an update on, on Kayser? Kayser, uh, you know, we're hopeful uh, he'll be ready next game. Upper body, you know, uh, we'll see how he is. It looked like he was kind of bending the air to get back in the game. Was he trying to get back in? I mean, I checked on him a couple times. There. I think he wanted to play. We'll see. Joe, what does it say about this series when just about the best player of both teams weren't able to finish tonight? It's been a work. It's been a battle. It's uh, every game, every shift. Uh, is you're fighting for every kind of space and inch around the ice. And it's a fast-paced game. Uh, you, know, you look at every every minute from game one to where we're at today. It's been an amazing series. And, Can you talk about the play of Corey tonight? Rock solid. You know, I think uh, you know, everybody's asking about you know, him. You know, Corey just moves forward. You know, he makes moves. He anticipates. And, uh, nothing bothers him. He just looks to work after the big after the big shot. Joel, was uh, <laughs> any one single hit that took Jonathan out, or was it a cumulative thing? Uh, so I don't think it was a defining blow. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, Coach, would you say that your speed is starting to take over as opposed to their size and strength? Uh, I don't know. I think uh, you know, they still have some, they're still dangerous off the attack. They're still running good in our zone. Um, but I still thought we did some good things in the last couple of games off the attack. And, uh, but I still think that's one of our strengths. We want to make sure that uh, they get on the four check and try to spend some time in their end. But uh, I thought in the early in the game, maybe a little bit too much neutral zone play. Was it the boy chop hit that got Jonathan? I'm not sure. Any sense that when Patrick has a game like this that, that it's coming? And then what can you say just about his performance? Well, I think he gets excited playing with Bix and Taser. You know, at, uh, two games in the last series, two games, they've been, uh, you know, they just seem to be uh, a little chemistry there. They get excited about the uh, togetherness, and uh, they seem to read off each other. Everybody brings a little bit of something different. Taves being able to stay on the bench a positive sign for him? Yeah, I think so. Joel, how many players score the first goal? How many people have the skill to do that? I mean, we think everybody on our team could score the first goal. No, the goal, the way it was scored, I mean. Oh, yeah, it was uh, Krug's kind of scored the couple goal one last game. You know, quick, uh, quick hands uh, below the goal line, taking a bump, put it in. Uh, you know, but uh, uh, plays around the net, he scored a couple Does, I mean, does Kane have that kind of special skill? I mean, we obviously have seen him score some big goals, but just to be there at the right place and the right time there, is that is that like a, the result of just playing with these guys so much and knowing when the puck's going to balance? Well, Kaner's got, uh, you know, he's got high-end skill. You know, he's dangerous with the puck. His anticipation offensive without it is high-end. And uh, I think reading off those guys out in the offensive zone has been uh, very effective for him. Uh, but, uh, you know, he just, guys that have that kind of innate skill of uh, scoring and, Top player, they they anticipate uh, you know, like the rest of us. Uh, like to. Joel, uh, Jonathan had some comments. We were here. Jonathan had some comments earlier about wanting to be aggressive at Chara and go at Chara, and uh, you seem to kind of back him up. You put him out there for the first shift against that group, and you had him out there against that group quite a bit. Can you just talk a bit, a bit about that confidence to put him out there in that situation? Well, I think it's comparable uh, the way the game was played last game in Boston. You know, those guys uh, saw a lot of one another. Be the offensive. Said uh, not worried about offensively, but uh, you know you got to make sure that uh, you got to contend defensively against a great line and a good line and, and uh, be aware. Joel, you've talked about throughout the season just how Crawford bounced back even when he's had bad games. Um, I, I guess did you see that again today? And did you feel at all that he wanted to prove himself after? after I just thought uh, I don't know if there's any, anything that changed his uh, approach or his demeanor over the last couple of days. I thought he handled everything fine. You know, he did some practice yesterday, good morning skate, excited. Uh, change at all. You know, he looked forward to the game. And, you know, he's seen kind of the same uh, approach in the core that we've seen all year long. Joel, uh, 58% from the circle tonight. Obviously, after the game three, when you guys were bad, that you improved, you improved in four really good tonight. What's been the difference, do you think, when you watch it? Well, an awareness to what they're doing. Bergeron didn't play a lot of the game. That probably was definitely uh, the big factor in that. 
Joel, can we assume, Olivia, can we assume that because he was on the bench in the third period, John's injury is not concussion related, or is that something we'll continue to monitor? Yeah, he's, uh, you know, we're just hoping that uh, you know, he's going to be ready to play. We'll see how he is, and then uh, we're hopefully he can play. Especially in that first period, it seemed that, that uh, Chara and, and their top players, Lucic as well, were really trying to go hard after Jonathan and, and even Bickle to a lesser degree. Did you, did you notice that it was happening even to a larger degree than what you've seen so far? Yeah, I, that, you know, I think physically, I think uh, you know, we got to respond the right way. I think we got to utilize our speed going into puck rears, don't get distracted to go in when we had to go. I thought Bix had a couple of sh uh, big hits on one shift that uh, really got things going too as well. Um, but I, you know, I, I think that uh, they could be more physical than us. But at the same time, uh, you just don't get distracted. You got to go and travel, and I thought uh, that's been the case. Thank you. Thanks.